Okay, so at this point, you've already watched the video for factoring bottoms up method. Uh, so you've seen that and written notes on it. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some practice with this very quickly uh, using our other page of factoring trinomials when our coefficient, uh, leading coefficient is not a 1. So in all the bottoms up method, you notice these were not a 1. So that's what we have here. So we're going to continue to use bottoms up method. We're just going to go through this quite a bit faster because now you've taken notes on it and you've seen that. So the first thing again I'm going to do is I'm going to erase, um, sorry, not really erase, but right over some of these so I've got room. So remember we talked about in the bottoms up method how the first thing you do is you take the leading coefficient, multiply here to uh, get a new value. So in this case, that's going to be negative uh, 112. So this now becomes m squared minus 24m minus 112. Then we're back to what we did when a is 1. You want to think of factors of 112 that subtract to give you 24. Now this can be a little bit more challenging uh, just because it's a big number. So you may have to go through and start your list and do your list of values for that. Um, so, for example, uh, you might do 8 goes into that um, 34 times. So you got 8, oops, sorry about that, 8 times, um, sorry, not 34, but 8 times um, 14, okay? But 8 and 14 don't subtract to give you 24. So this is where you may have to kind of use your calculator a little bit to help you out. Uh, so I'm going to try uh, how about 4 and, let's see, 4 and 28. Well, there you go, 4 and 28 work. So what I have here is I have m, okay, minus or plus 4, because remember they subtract, so the sign of the larger one is negative. So I have m plus 4, then I have m minus 28, but then again, we have to take care of, remember, that leading coefficient, which was 7. So what do we do? Uh, we divide by 7 here. Okay. And then, remember in the bottoms up method, what happens is that if it doesn't divide evenly, we put the 7 out front. So here we have 7m plus 4. But here, in this one, it does divide evenly. So we end up with m minus 4. And then now it's factored. So just real quickly trying to trying to review that. Okay. So we're going to go through this a little bit faster. So that's just a real quick overview of bottoms up. But we wanted to make sure and touch on that again. So let's do number two. I'm going to write it over here on the side, just bigger. So number two, do oops. Didn't use my pen there. Let's do 3 times 28. 3 times 28 is 84. So I have a squared minus 25a plus 84. Okay. So again, these bigger numbers can be a little bit trickier. Uh, but that would be 21 and 4. 21 and 4 would give me 84. So I have a minus 21 and a minus 4. Then I have to divide by the leading coefficient again, which is 3. So I divide by 3, divide by 3. And so the first one, it divides evenly, a minus 7. The second one, it does not. So the 3 comes to the front. So I have 3a minus 4. Okay. Let's just go ahead and keep working this way, and then we'll go back to the other side here. Uh, 6 times 10 would be 60, so I have plus 60, so I have v squared minus 23v plus 60. Okay, so factors of 60 that add to give me 23 would be 3 and 20. So I have v minus 3 and v minus 20. Divide by my coefficient, which is 6, 6, 6. Okay, so right here... It doesn't divide evenly uh, into either one of them. So how do we remedy that situation? So if it doesn't divide into either one of them evenly, then we have to start taking factors of 6. So 
We're going to do away with 6 now. And let's think about factors of 6. So let's think of 6 as 2 and 3. So let's try 2. So now we divide by 2. Okay. This time it does work for one of them. Okay. So that's going to be 10. Right. So we have V minus 10. 2 does not divide evenly into 3. So then we have to try 3 for that one. 3 does work. Okay. So what do we have? We have... V minus 1, okay? But then we have to take our two factors, which are 2 and 3, and then we put them accordingly. So uh, what that means is, so when we use 3 here to go, then that means the 2 is going to end up being used right here. And then where we used 3 for this one, or 2 for this one, we did not use 3, then 3 has to go right there. So again, just to review to make sure it works, 2 times 3 is 6, 2 and 10 is negative 20, doing FOIL, and negative 3, so that gives me negative 23, and then 1 times 10 is 10, okay? Um, let's see the next one. So we take 4 times 27, and that's 108, so I have k squared minus 33k minus 108. Again, it's a big number, so we got to think about numbers 108 that would work here. So maybe, let's see, 3, 3 and 36. So I have a negative 33, so it's k plus 3 and k minus 36, okay? Then we take our coefficient, divide by 4. 4 does divide evenly into one of these. So I end up with k, 4k plus 3, since it did not divide into that one. And then this one is k minus 9. Okay, let's go to the other side. So we've already done number 1. Let's do number 3. So... 5 and 21 is 105, so I have v squared minus 22 plus 105. Okay, so we try to think about uh, values here. Uh, so, let's see. Hmm, this can be a little tough. But that's going to be 7 and 15. 7 and 15, so I have v minus 7 and V minus 15. My leading coefficient is 5, so I divide by 5. 5 will go into one of these. So here I have to put the 5 out front, 5V minus 7, and here it divides evenly, V minus 3, and there we go. All right, last one. Uh, again, don't forget, always try GCF, but GCF doesn't work for any of these, and I purposefully set those up that way. Uh, 9 times 30 is 270, so I have n squared minus 17n minus 270. This one's not bad because I know it's going to be 10. So I have n uh, plus 10 and n minus 27 because 27 minus 10 gives me 17. Uh, again, my leading coefficient's 9, so I'm going to divide by 9. 9 does divide evenly into the second one, so here I'm going to have 9n plus 10. And then here I have n minus 3. So just a quick practice of the bottoms up method. Uh, again, the harder case being here uh, when we had the 6 because 6 didn't divide evenly into either one of them. So we had to take two factors of 6, which were 2 and 3. And that, that's a little more difficult. But hopefully this was a good review for you for bottoms up and when A is not a 1.